Welcome to the Midlife Style School, the podcast for women who want to elevate their personal style and life by design. I'm your hostess, Afton Porter, certified life coach and fashion stylist known as the chief image creator, helping high profile women polish their image with standout style in their industry. Through our conversations and insight, I'll provide simple tricks and practices that will help take the stress out of getting dressed in the morning so you can start each day feeling empowered, confident, and ready to take on whatever comes your way. Let's go. Did you know that it only takes one-tenth of a second for us to make up our minds about people? We are making judgments about their attractiveness, likability, trustworthiness, competence, aggressiveness of other people, all in one-tenth of a second. We are making judgments about other people, and they are making judgments about us. That is why it is very important that if you have a personal brand, you have a business, you're a professional woman, you're wanting to get a promotion, you're looking to build your business, it's important that you have your image nailed down to a T. Because the longer that they spend with you does not change their opinions about you. It only reinforces what they previously thought within that one-tenth of a second. So it's important that we get that right. Also, when people are scrolling on social media and they see your post, they are going to need to get your attention right away. Otherwise, they're going to keep on scrolling. I have created a challenge for you. If you are wanting to elevate your image, whether it's in person when you meet people or in photos on your website or on social media, this challenge is for you. It's an elevate your image style challenge for professional women. And it's happening in the month of December. I have a link in the show notes where you can go register immediately. You'll want to get in there. We're kicking this off before the end of the year. We want to make sure that you have everything in place to kick off 2024. So many people wait until after the new year to do that. And how you end 2023 is going to be where your starting point for 2024. So the higher that you're able to end December, the higher point you're going to be jumping from in 2024. That is the importance of participating in this Elevate Your Image Now, you'll want to get in. Now, we're going to help you elevate your image and style. This is going to be worth more than the last workshop that you paid for, 100% guaranteed. Some things that you might not know about style. You know that if you have big business goals, you're going to to need to attract additional clients. And in order to do that, you're going to need to elevate your style game. What you might not know is number one, scientific evidence proves your clothes are affecting your brain. The clothes that you are wearing are affecting how you are showing up in your business, at work, and in your life. When you are wearing the clothes that ignites your brain, When you are wearing clothes that free up your brain, they fit you right, they're not distracting you, you're able to do things more effortlessly. In addition, if you're wearing clothes that help you feel really good, you know you're rocking it, that you look beautiful, it's enhancing your your natural beauty that you have going on, you're going to show up more powerful in your life. Two, you can enhance your beauty through color. The clothes that you wear are either helping you look more beautiful 
they're enhancing your natural beauty or they're detracting from it. They're taking away. Yes, there are clothes that you can wear that will make you look washed out, look more like make you look sickly, bring out the imperfections in your skin. Not only that, but they are keeping other people from noticing you because their eyes are being pulled down to the clothes that you're wearing. When you're not wearing clothes that are best for you, they're going to stick out because they're out of balance. There's something off. And when there's something off, your eyes don't like it. Your brain might not be able to register what exactly it is, but your eyes see it and notice it and they don't like it. And that is true for people who are looking at you. So imagine you are giving a presentation, you're speaking to a group of people and having their eyes being pulled down to the color or shirt that you're wearing. And just because you're wearing a neutral color does not mean that it's the best neutral for you. It could be a neutral that's wrong. And I feel like that is a big myth that people believe if I just wear neutrals, I can't go wrong. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So it's important that you wear the right colors and neutrals so that people are not distracted from what you're saying and they can actually hear and pay attention and learn from you. Number three, the wrong clothing will distract your brain. If you're wearing something that is uncomfortable, it's too big, it's poking you, you're having to tug or push in your bra strap, or your shirt keeps coming out, or maybe you just feel like your stomach looks big in that outfit and you're feeling a little worried about that and your brain is thinking about that all day long while you're trying to do all the things that you have to do. When you relieve that from your brain, things are going to feel more effortless because you're not being distracted by your clothes. So your clothes can not only help you, but they can hurt you. So it's important that you are wearing the best clothes for you. And last but not least that I want to share with you about some myths is that you don't dress for the job that you have. When you dress for the job that you have, nobody's going to see you in the next level. If you are an executive and you want to be a VP, you don't dress like an executive. You got to dress like a VP. You need to be wearing what the VPs are wearing in your company, however that looks. If you don't really notice a difference, I want you to ask yourself, what would you wear if you were a VP? Would it be something different? Because we need to get your mind switched to thinking like a VP. And if you're wearing the same clothes that you wore as an executive, you need to elevate that. And that's what we can help you with in the style challenge that's coming up. Don't dress for the job you have, dress for the job that you want. And even though the reasons to pursue a more elevated style, a polished look might seem super obvious, but how to do it is not. It gets very frustrating for women. And it's because they are skipping through the phases that you need to go through. For example, if you are learning algebra and you don't know your multiplications and you sit down to try to do algebra, it will be very, very difficult. But if you learn all the steps of how to do math up to algebra first, it's easier right? You might still need a teacher to help you, but it's so much easier when you have that strong foundation before you go to learn about algebra. When we try to think that style doesn't have certain stepping stones that you should just be thrown into it and know how to do it, it's very frustrating because there are foundations that you need to know about style in general, but also specifically for you. There's so many nuances with style, with fashion, with colors, with design, with fabrics, silhouettes. 
and it could be very overwhelming. It doesn't have to be that way. When you know all this, you're basically just putting the building blocks together. Some of the stuff you get to decide, but some of the stuff you don't have to. It's decided for you by your coloring, your hair color, your skin tone, your eye color, your height, the length of your legs, your torso, your bust, your hips, your tush. A lot of that is decided for you. And that's what an image consultant can do for you is tell you, hey, here's your building blocks and you get to go play with them. Doesn't that sound more fun if imagine a two-year-old and you're given a set of building blocks and they say, hey, take these blocks and go play with them. That's what I do for you. I give you the building blocks and you get to go play with them. In this three-day style challenge, you'll have a Q&A after each day and you get to ask me questions and I will answer them for you if you are there live. If you raise your hand and you are working through the workbook and you have a question, I would love to answer that for you. Sometimes women think that to be stylish, you have to follow all the trends. And trends are a lot of fun. You need to know what trends will suit you best. You shouldn't be wearing all the trends because you'll want to pick the ones that look best on you and the ones that you feel the most confident in. Number two, to be stylish, people think sometimes that they need to constantly be updating your wardrobe. That is also false. Once we have those building blocks, set for you, you don't have to be constantly updating it. You can pick and choose some of those trends if you want to, to add. It's not necessary. Number three, I get asked all the time if, you know, you reach a certain age and you need to cut your hair or you can't wear certain types of clothes or colors or designs. It's, you know, for the younger people. And I work with women on this because there is no age limit to anything. You get to wear whatever you want. You may outgrow certain types of clothes. So as a five-year-old, you outgrow a dress. The dress may be beautiful, but you don't fit into it anymore. I don't want you to look at clothes that no longer suit you or fit you as there's something wrong with them or making that mean there's something wrong with you. It just means that that no longer fits you for whatever reason. This happens for a lot of reasons. It doesn't mean that, oh, now you're so mature and you and you don't wear that type of clothing anymore. No. This happens with different income levels. This happens with different sizing. This happens with sometimes with age, sometimes with education. You might have been married and now you're single and you're ready to explore some different options. Nothing is bad. Nothing is better. It's what is going to fit you the best physically, emotionally, psychologically, so that you can show up in your life powerfully. That is where I want to get you to. So when I recommend certain styles, colors, wardrobe, it's not that anything else is bad. It's that we want to curate a wardrobe that's going to be best for you. That's going to help your brain live effortlessly and not struggle with certain areas about you and how you feel about yourself. Super important. And how much money you spend on your clothes doesn't make someone stylish or not stylish. You could be stylish at any budget. If you're thinking, I don't have enough money to replace my whole wardrobe. I'm not going to be able to be stylish. That is your brain stopping you from growing in this area. You thinking that you're going to have to throw out your whole wardrobe is your brain's way of keeping you stuck in where you're at. This challenge for professional women, we're going to change 
how you're thinking about yourself and your clothes and your image. Because when you go to meet somebody new who could be a potential client, we don't want them to be thinking anything that's going to keep them from hiring you. We want them to see who you are, the expert of who you are. As you put your best foot forward, the right clients for you will be known. They will see you. That is the goal for this challenge in December. So click on the link, get registered, put it on your calendar, schedule that time for you. It's three days, no more than an hour a day. And let's elevate your style so that you can be set up for 2024 and just to go up from there. I cannot wait to work with you through this challenge. You're going to get what you put into this workshop, just like anything else. This isn't superficial. This isn't going to waste your time. This is important what we're talking about. And if you are serious about elevating your image, this is for you. If you're just doing this for fun, if you just think it'd be something fun to do, this may not be for you. You got to be serious about elevating your style. You are ready to take your business to the next level. You are ready to not waste any more time with your life. You want to make impact. You are the one that I want in that workshop. And I'll see you there. I can't wait to meet you. Until next week, think like a style icon. Bye-bye.